So if you've been keeping up in the latest changes with Instagram lately, uh, you know there's a lot of people frustrated with the platform. There's been a lot of buzz on YouTube and other articles, just people getting frustrated with the algorithm. It's feeling hard to grow. And while I was never quite that big of a creator on Instagram, even though I tried for an entire year and I'll continue to try, it does get quite frustrating that I just feel like I'm running in place most of the time. However, there's an app and social media platform that kind of fell off the radar for quite a while. Until this video here. Vero, that's an app that I've been sharing my work on. Peter McKinnon talks about an app called Vero, and I did hear about this years ago, but I never downloaded it. I never, never was really interested in it. But excitingly enough, it honestly feels like it's starting to pick up some steam. So I downloaded the app, started posting photos, and it does feel a little bit more like a community experience like Instagram used to be 10 years ago. Okay, so now I wanna go more into the technical aspects of what Vero is and what it's aiming to do. But first I wanna talk about what I'm trying to do on Vero and that's the 365 challenge. The 365 challenge is a challenge where you try and take a photo, one photo a day and post it on anywhere, a blog, Instagram, or what have you. But I'm gonna do this challenge exclusively on Vero because I think the community aspect of it is far superior than most social media platforms out there today. Now one thing I don't wanna get into the trap of when I'm doing this is taking a bunch of photos one day, editing them all, and just posting them once a day. I really wanna get into taking a photo for a certain day and posting that photo. Now I might be taking it with my mirrorless camera, I might be taking it with my phone. Honestly, the best camera is the camera that you have on you. That will always hold true. But whatever I have with me to take that photo and post is what I'm gonna do. So today is... August 23rd, this video is gonna be posted tomorrow, so I'm gonna cheat a little here. And on August 24th, which is tomorrow, I'm gonna to post the first photo of this challenge. If you come with me over here, I found some pretty cool dead ferns, probably just from lack of rain. It's been pretty dry here, unfortunately, with a mossy tree, and I thought this forest floor was pretty cool. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my first photo here. And once I get that done, we'll head back into the office and talk a little bit more about the app of Vero. All right, so this is the tree that I was talking about. I'm gonna go ahead and take my first photo for my 365 challenge using the 1424 Sigma F2.8 art lens on the Sony A6400 APS-C body. This is gonna be cropped up, I think, factor 1.5, but let's see what we got. Oh, and also as a quick mention, I'll leave my handle for Vero right here can please drop a follow, an acquaintance, or just keep up with the 365 challenge and do it with me. That'd be kind of cool. Looking forward to seeing more of y'all on this app. Okay, I hope that conversation came out pretty good. I try to use this tree to bring you into the background a little, but that's gonna be my first photo for the 365 challenge. I'm excited. Let's head back into the office and talk a little bit more about this app. All right, so Vero has been out for a little while now. I remember when it came out and I didn't download it, really wasn't interested in it. But this past week when Peter McKinnon brought it up, I was like, you know what? I'm kinda sick of Instagram, sick of the directions going in, still gonna use it, but check it out. So I hopped on my phone, downloaded it real quick, and so far I like the user experience. Vero claims to be ad-free and also claims to be without an algorithm. Discovery for new creators kind of scares me without an algorithm. Maybe it's purely hashtag based. So that being said, if you're a bigger creator already, Vero might be a better platform for you because you can just tell your following to go there and follow you. But for someone like me who's quite a bit smaller, might be a little bit more difficult to grow. That's to be determined. One of the biggest things I like about Vero is it just seems to be very community-based. Uh, I've seen some conversations going on within individual posts, which is kind of cool. You don't really see that on Instagram too much. The comments on Instagram these days are just very shallow, hollow. They don't really mean anything. You're like, oh, nice pic, or just, Emoji, 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 emoji. You're not really getting much from the comments. So I'm excited to see if I can cultivate a community within my page and also follow other people that will give me constructive criticism of my photos. I can give constructive criticism back. I can tell them what I like about the photo. I can tell them my opinions on what they might try to do better or just differently, not necessarily better, which is cool. You don't really get that on Instagram. I've tried posting things like that on Instagram and honestly, the creators on Instagram just don't really care. And on Vero, I think you're gonna see a 
a little bit of the flip side for people really looking to grow the community aspect of photography and getting to know other photographers, which is kind of cool. So just diving into the app here a little bit, let's go ahead and open up Vero just to show you how the user interface looks. I followed a few people already. Chris Ramsey is definitely one of them. Josh Sharp is someone I've met. I thought his photo was cool, so I sent him a message. Now we're an acquaintance. And just looking at it, you can see people are describing their photos more. There's more conversations going on. And overall, it just seems like more community driven. Here's a photo I did and someone complimented my light. A little bit shallow, but it's better than what I got on Instagram. I usually don't get any comments like that on Instagram, even with a thousand followers, which is small, but still. Um, going into posting here, you can see various ways to post. Great, seems like you can access your camera directly, you can send links, you can uh, share movies, TV, like anything you're interested in. Go ahead and post to the camera directly here. Use that to post. And another thing that I really like about it is it kind of shows you like just hashtags you can use, which is kind of cool. So you can just click on them. I don't really like looking up hashtags. It just looks at the picture and next, next, and you're done. Here you can tell Vero who you want to see the post. So if I just want to share it with close friends, I can also share it with friends and close friends, acquaintances, and anyone that follows me. For this post, I'm just going to post it private. I'm gonna delete it later, and there it goes. Easy enough. But anyways, guys, that's a quick overview of Bureau. I really like it so far. Please check it out. Like I said, I'll be doing a 365 challenge on Vero, so if you wanna do it with me, join me, that'd be great. Uh, leave a comment down below in this video and let me know that you're gonna join me. Send me a follow and a, uh, a friend request on Vero, and We'll motivate each other to keep on task to get 365 in. Thanks for watching this video. Please consider that subscribe button and the notification bell down below to keep up to date on all my latest videos. And I'll catch you all in the next one.